my channel. I've got something interesting to show you again. So we put a, um, a small wrap on the drone, brought it from eBay. I didn't think it was too good in the way it was uh, presented and put on the drone, the, the stickers. So we're going to revisit it. Uh, I spoke to the guy that I brought it from. Uh, he gave me some tips. Uh, so we're going to do it again. Uh, read, the ma read the instructions. Um, couldn't really find anything on how to put these uh, stickers on. Uh, it's really good quality vinyl. It's quite thick. It's thicker than any other that I've used. Um, so we're going to put these. There's two that I want to finish putting on the Mini 2. Uh, so like from the instructions on here. Uh, so I'm going to do just above the gimbal and then on the back, which is the battery cover, I'm going to do that. But uh, first we've got to clean it, repair it, and then when we apply the, uh, the vinyl, make sure that we warm it up so it moulds around that area that you're doing. And then wipe it down and make sure it's properly adhered to the uh, plastic of the drone. Um, picked up Mini Me, my mini little helper, so he's going to give me a hand. Uh, there's a couple of little things. I've got a memory stick today, memory stick adapter, so I've plugged the memory sticks into my phone so it's easier to upload the videos straight up onto YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you wherever you put in it. Um, simple little thing, cost a couple of quid off YouTube. Uh, and then I've got some little standoffs uh, for when the drone lands in grass. Uh, so we're going to apply them to what that's like. Yeah? Yeah. Let's yeah, so see how that looks. So, first of all, we'll get we need to up, so in the safety box. To one side, put that to one side and I don't want to damage it. So mini two comes that's how it comes out of the uh, out of the box that I've got it in. So extend the arms first and then the back of arms. So we've got it open and look at it. Um, as you see, I, I applied the top one here. Um, after a couple of days, it, it stuck really well, but I clearly not applied it how it should have been applied. So we're going to try and get it right this time. The Mini Two is way smaller than that one. Oh yes, my FPV. So yeah. we're going to uh, we're going to get a, a wrap for that. But I'm still looking at what to use. By means, stick comments in the bottom if you've used a wrap for it. You can recommend anybody I can get one from and we'll, we'll make a small video, not we, of doing that one. Um, again, we're not going to do a full wrap, there'll just be certain areas. Um, this one's yellow, so we're going to do that one, I think, blue? Should we do a blue? Uh, blue and turquoise, yeah. Turquoise? We'll yeah. see if we can do that then. Yeah. Blue, I've set the colours now on the arms to blue. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit later on. This is more about Mini 2. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see how we go. So, first of all, clean it. Be a big wipe, the areas that you want to clean. Uh, I'm going to keep the gimbal on for now because uh, I don't want to damage the camera. Um, the last thing you want to do is damage that. So give it a good wipe. Oh, yes. Um, I don't know if I left the battery. Oh, I did. So I left the battery in it. So let's take the battery out. Safety first and all that. Compare how small this battery is compared to that one. Oh, yes. So that's our FPV. As you can see, it's uh, quite a large, large battery, and we've got uh, a Mini Two. Hmm. That's like yes. three times the size of it. Yeah, it's quite big, isn't it? When you put it in comparison to the size of that one, mm -hmm. so I believe this has got two cells in it, two battery cells, and this one's got four battery cells in it. So when you go onto the app, when you do like settings and stuff like that, you'll see that there's only two settings in this, and you'll see the health of the different. Uh, battery cells with this one you'll see four cells and uh, you'll see the health of each one of the cells al along with the battery cycle charges that you've done for each one so same for that one you'll see the cycles of that one also for that one that's the same but it just takes I think it's half an hour 45 minutes from half full uh, about 90 minutes full charge on it uh, sometimes I'll, I'll leave it on for a few hours in the kitchen uh, while we're up Never leave them on charge overnight because something could happen. Uh, yeah. Safety is paramount, isn't it? This is, yeah, this is all about having fun, not accidents. So we'll put this to the side. Good point, Corey. Pointing that out. Right, back to cleaning the drone. So clean all the bits off. And again, this is only baby wipe. You can use alcohol wipe or 
whatever suits your need. You make sure it's nice and clean. Making sure you've taken all the debris off and whatever it is. You take the gimbal off. Just um, be extra careful around the top not to damage the gimbal. And as you can see, it's very flexible. Um, that one's really loud, isn't it? When you fly. Oh God. Um, what we'll do is towards the end of the video, we'll turn it on. We'll call it off that minute. It, it never gets boring. We'll put videos about the end. So what I'm going to do later on when we've done this, um, we're going to have a bike to eat and then we're going to go and fly the drone. So if you if you stay on, on the video, um, you'll see where we've took the video, took the drones. Um, I brought the, the FPV purely for how fast it is and it is an amazing um, gadget to have. Um, it makes the videos more interesting I think of all. But it is quite dangerous isn't it? Oh yeah. Um, but like anything, uh, treat it with respect. Be careful. Be careful, safety, make sure you're not near anybody. Safety first. Yes. Good. Right. So we'll clean that, the baby wipes. We use paper napkins to then just dry any excess water off or anything that may be still around on the top as well. So that's pretty clean. That looks good. So the area looks like it's been all the bits have been taken off and it's all clean. Can you see anything on the corner? There's uh, a little bit there, oh, but that's on the wrap. That's on the top, so yeah. we'll clean the whole thing at the end. But yeah. There's nothing you can see around there, is it? on the bottom? No, no. So we're going to take the memory stick out because we're going to use it air dryer to, to warm this up. Um, memory sticks is another interesting um, safe. thing that I've come across. You know, there's not much documents about what memory sticks you can use for these drones. I'm going to do another video where it shows what memory sticks to use for each one. So I've discovered that GoPro is brilliant, or you, you can use a, a slower memory stick where these things can record up to 4K. That one as well, 4K, 1080p, uh, 2.5K, and 4K, up to 6 frames a second on both of these. So you've got to have a good memory stick. I always use Sandisk, but we'll get to that in a bit later. Right, we'll keep these to hand. Uh, air dryer, don't really matter which air dryer to use, but what we're going to do is going to warm it up so then when we use the, when we do the uh, final, it's going to stick well. Um, Mum's been really good to lend me this. Uh, no, I don't own one, so. so yes, thank you, Mother. Uh, so then that's that, that's that, and then we'll get the vinyl. Shall we do the back one first? Yeah. Back one first. So the back one. So I've kept all the instructions that I got with the uh, with the vinyl. Uh, I shall put a link in the bottom uh, to YouTube and also. Make sure your fingers are clean. Yeah. I washed mine before we did this just to make sure that I didn't get anything anything on here that shouldn't be on here. So line it up. Be careful so you don't ruin it. Yeah. Last thing I want to do is ruin it. Isn't it? But I also want to do a good job as well. Right, we'll It's on there. I'm going to push it down as much as we can. Also, um, wireless in room temperature, so we've shut the door. Uh, got the window slightly open for a bit of air, but we don't want it um, to. Yeah, too cold or too warm because it can affect the vinyl applying it, right? So it's not completely on. But 
僕の後ろ大道を。Don't put it on the i s setting. So we start with the low it setting. And what we're going to do is we're going to warm it up. Don't put the heat on too much. Because the last thing we want to do is. Yeah, burn it and. Cause big issues inside the drone, so that looks like that's about it.、Um, so we'll use a paper towel again to wipe off any excess. So that's yeah, it's perfectly applied. Yeah, that's perfectly applied. So if I'd done this in the first place, I would have、uh, got it right first time around. So just make sure you're. Preparations are in place, so baby wipe, paper towel. Make sure you've got no nothing on there whatsoever.、Uh, make sure this is off. Yeah, well, the gimbal for the, for the safety thing. We're gonna do that one next, but you know, one area at a time. Don't rush.、Uh, I, I would recommend cleaning one area at a time, not just cleaning off. You know, it's gonna be alright. So we'll, we'll clean one, and then on to the next one, and that, as it did, beautifully. If I'm honest, it's perfect there. It's molded round nice. Plastic's really good.、Um, Can I feel it? Yeah. Isn't it good. Soft. Just feel around the top there. See how that because it's it's had to go around the top and around the bevel. Yeah. That's that's really good, isn't it? So yeah. So yeah, definitely recommend、uh, using that. So we'll do a flip mini over. This is good for like first drone. Yeah, it's mini two. It's, it's not too fast and yeah. For pictures and photos. Yeah. So the mini two, I would recommend. Uh, If it's your first drone, for sure.、Uh, yeah, you've got three settings. So you've got cine mode, sports mode,、um, and then there's another mode. Sorry, I, I correct myself. We've got cine mode, which is the slowest. Then we've got normal, which is like your day to day. Steady. And then you've got sport, where if you need to get somewhere quick, use sport.、Yeah. This thing I've been doing near on thirty miles an hour. How long have you had this for now? I'm going on to three months. Yeah. yeah, two, 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 three months. So I've always wanted one.、Uh, so I, I took the dive. wasn't cheap,、yeah. but was definitely a good investment for good taking pictures and videos and、uh, you know、uh, some of the some of the really good ones. That, you remember that dome thing we did where it's like the world got opened up. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, and and there's no real way in in the app to capture that. So Corey showed me there's a screen. Is it screen record?、Uh, screen record. I do all my TikTok videos mostly as well. Yeah, and so that allowed me to then press it, and then the animation on the on the phone, we we captured that and put it in some of the videos that you might have seen if you've seen some of the other videos. Right. So now we're going to do this part at the front.、Uh, we have to watch the light at the front, so that's like a、uh, status light, safety light.、Um, I've not flown this in in the dark yet, but I have read. Uh, and one of the courses was、uh, you're not to fly these unless you've got a CAA-approved strobe.、Um, we'll do a video on that as it starts getting darker, darker nights. You know, we, we're in August at the minute, so as we get to、like、October, November, and start flying at night, we're going to definitely get a strobe. So、we'll, I'll cover that in a video. So if you、uh, if you want to like, subscribe,、uh, you can you can watch the progress、uh, progression of me flying my drones. With, and one day we'll hopefully become famous. Well, I don't know about the famous. Yeah,、people. hopefully that.、Um, one day. Right. So onto the next one. So we'll just make sure that that's got nothing on it, and then we're going to apply. Get the instructions. So we're going to apply D, which is this one at the bottom. You see that for you? Not on D. Yeah. So it's got the little hole in it. So if we look on here, which is that one, so that would be this one here. I'm going to apply that. The same process again, but because it's near the camera, I'm going to put the camera up. Then I'm using this, not on the high setting like I did, like a, a little fool. We're going to get using. Yes,、yeah, so、we're going to do the、um, number one, which is like half setting. So it's warm, but it's not like 
blow everything everywhere like that, but we've just done so. So yeah, if you if when we when I apply it and we use the dryer, if you could just hold the camera up there. Not at the moment, I'm just gonna apply this first, make sure it gets in the right area then. I'm not gonna damage the lens or any of the mechanism behind the, the back of the gimbal. There, so put this on, on one, and then just hold the lens up, hold that up. one already that was really really simple yeah uh, it's stuck stuck everywhere it needs to stick um, the laser cutting I think that's what they've used to cut this out is absolutely bang on yeah bang on to where it needs to be around, around the um, status line I think it's a status line um, hit me up in the comments if that's wrong but I think it's a status line yeah, that was perfect. So it's dried pretty much. Moulded round. At the top of the gimbal it goes in and then around. So it's quite a, a complex bend in, in the plastic and it's adhered to it all. So perfect. So we now have the Mini 2 with a full wrap. Check the screws the other day with the uh, screwdriver that I got with the drone. Everything's still tight. Uh, I did notice a good tip that uh, someone that I follow that what they've done is they've put, got a marker pen and marked the screw and the piece of plastic where the uh, propeller is. It's a bit like we uh, you, you nut on your car wheel. If you're a lorry driver, they've got like little plastic positioners on the uh, not so if it moves then that that will move and then you'll see that it's come loose so i think that's a really good idea i'm going to look for a, a marker pen and see if we can do that in a video in the future um, but that's it um, for this part of the video so um, if you liked it by all means um, and if you came this far like and subscribe yeah um, if there's anything you'd like me to talk about go through or anything that you you'd like to know before you purchase the drone but yeah hit me up in the comments um, so now we've done that we're going to save these because you never know we might decide I want to yeah.
do the whole thing. Um, now I've done it. The one thing that I like about it is how you can put it away so easily and put it in the little case and just store it wherever you want. Yeah, um, so I store it in my bag with, uh, with the other drone. I, need, I do need to buy uh, a bag, so that might be something uh, to do a video on the bag. And I will it's put nice it in and away. simple as well. Yeah, so we'll keep that for next time. 4K as well, perfect. Good video, isn't it? Yeah. So, purchase this, two quid off you. I think it was two quid, two or three quid off eBay. It's a Type C um, card reader. Uh, so I'm going to take the memory stick out of the room. So we're going to plug this in here. There's only one way it'll go in. As you can see, it's, it's, it's got inside, it's in. It won't go any further. Try not to force it. And then when you just go get the phone, it won't fit. So you have to take the case off. Always buy yourself a good quality case. Few phones. I might get a new case. I got one. Well, you did have one, didn't you? You took it off. So anyway, we'll plug this in. This is the uh, Samsung 20, Note 20 Plus Ultra. So I'll plug it in. Then it'll go red. Then it's lit up. So that says that you know it's active. Uh, I do have um, File Explorer on here. And I go into it and I just copy the video that I've created from the DJI Mini or the FPV or my Pocket 2 or even the GoPro that I'm recording this on now. I'll put it into here, load it up onto my phone, store it on another memory I've got in my phone, do the video editing what I need to do, then I'll upload it onto my server so it's safe, secure, and then in the future I can use it for, for other projects. So uh, just unplug it. Uh, you have Because I've not accessed it, I don't need to. Uh, top phone that finished with it, which is uh, a safe removal button that you press, um, so it's safe to then remove it. But that's it, that's it for that. Uh, we'll plug this back in to the back of the drone. Uh, so face, that's facing you, so we'll do the same with that, facing away, the right in, and then we'll just plug it in the top, in the bottom. Uh, it's best to have nails, I ain't got nails. And there you go, it's as easy as that, it's in, it's cool. it will just as it goes in, it will kind of give you some resistance as you push it in. You feel it like a, a push button, and then that's it, it's in, it's done. So we're going to put the gimbal back on. Easy as that. Add a little in. Make sure. There you go. It can be a bit awkward that I can, but it's alright. Put my case back around the phone so I don't break the phone. Okay, so I was out in the fields and discovered that um, the Mini, as you can see, sits very, very low. You can just about get your finger under that back propeller. When that thing's going, it, 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 then propellers are going, aren't they? It, it, it can cause a bit of damage. So I had a look and I thought, mm, what, can, what can we get uh, to make it easier? Because I don't particularly like catching it in my hand. Although it's easy and convenient some places, isn't it? Um, I don't really like doing it. Just think, and I have caught my finger, and it's had my finger numb for 40 odd minutes with one of these back pedals, so it has got some force. So Lord only knows what that FPV would do if you tried to catch that and misjudged it. So definitely not recommended. Uh, DJI don't recommend it. You land it somewhere safe. Uh, convenient. I have done a video, land it on top of your car, take it off on top of your car. Um, there's no reason why I can't, yeah, just put a towel over the top, but I did purchase these for a couple of quid, um, and the feet, a bit like shoes for your, for your own feet, so I've not fitted these yet, so we're going to see what these are all about, so the extends, I'm going to sit that on that, so um, these are on the front, I believe, so we'll put that on there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and do you want to do one? So you put that one, you get extend it out, that's it, all the way out. Keep going. That's it. Okay. And then put it at the same, do the other one, do the other one, that's it. And now these back ones. Oh. Yeah, no, a lot more complicated. Uh, sure. 
I didn't get instructions for these, so they're just gonna try and see. Trial and error. So it's probably not the right way to do it, but apologies for that, that's the washing. Ah, ah, so there, there, so No, I didn't get no instructions. Uh, this is quite funny trying to figure this out. Uh, so yeah. So as you can see, it sits up like that. That's uh, different. In Pause the film, I'm going to do some research and I'm going to come back to you. Right, we're back. And a quick look on my phone, a bit of research. Doesn't hurt to research, it says make yourself like an idiot. Um, so, this is how you fit these. Um, so, it's got B, so we do the B side. So, if you can hold it like that. So, as you can see, that, that's got a funny angle to it. As you can see, that has as well. So, that sits right there. So it's out of the way. So then when you fold it up, it doesn't get in the way of design of when you fold him away. So as you can see. So when you land it, I think you can bring it up so it So yeah, so as you can see, it's folded away, it's nice and neat and tidy. Um, That's folded. And it's well. out of the way. Um, so that folds down like that. So quite a unique um, design, quite like it. Definitely going to be using them. Yeah. Uh, so we open this, and then this feet just opens up like that. There you go, perfect. Um, so we'll do that side. Did you want to put that one on? Yep. So if you do it exactly the same on that side on there, so face it up, so clip it on. <laughs> you look so hard. No, it's alright, just, right, just push it on that way. Push it on. That's it. Yeah, we're still, we're still good. You push down, push it down, push it down this way to make sure it fits all right. Yeah, yeah, so we're yeah. good. So we'll get that up. So that's feet. And then obviously now you can see it fits. Oh, that's um, cool. Quite cool with the design. And it's away from the ground as well. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I've not tested it, it's still under 249 gram. Uh, for myself, I'm not too worried about that because I do have both licenses now. So I've got the A1, A2 license that allows me to fly this. Sorry, the A1, A3 license that allows me to fly this, and now I hold an A2 license that allows me to fly that thing, uh, which will then cover this. It uh, covers me up to uh, so many kilograms. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details. Um, hit me up in the comments if you want to know more. I can give you some links. Uh, it literally is research, CAA guided. You can't go wrong. Um, I work in the aviation industry, so it was important for me to get this right first time right. I don't want to get myself into trouble. I want to enjoy this. We both want to enjoy it, don't we? Um, and have, have fun flying. I mean, um, that's the comparison. Way, well, not way yeah. bigger, but... Well, it's got a bit more size to it, hasn't it? Now it's not yeah. so tall. We're going to put this one away. It's like a big head. Corey wants this one to we'll get this one going. So I'm not going to put the blades on, but we're going to turn it on. So we'll put this away, just to show that it's easy to put away in the box. So I fold these down. Uh, it's the first time I've done this, so uh, it's going to be trial and error. So you can we can learn together. So, as you can see, the design they sit inside, and for a couple of quid, you can't go wrong. Well, it looks like um, it's got wings. <laughs> it does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, we did call this bee, didn't we? Yeah, this, we've called this one B and we're going to call that one Prime. Call that one Prime? Uh, yeah, good job. Yeah? In keeping with the Transformers then, I guess. Um, so that's fit 
fits pretty much perfect. Um, Bumblebee, I'm yeah. not with Yeah. Yeah. Right, we'll see how it fits inside here because ultimately that's what it's all about. It's, it's got to fit in there perfectly because of keeping it stored. And I'm not going to lie, that fits exactly like it did before. Um, I do keep my license in here as well. Yeah. So, keep both licenses in here. So that's just on the bottom there. And on the top. And as you can see, it's it. perfect. Perfect. Right, so now we've done that, that's all done. Uh, we'll turn this little bad boy on, shall we? Yeah. Ah, we haven't put the battery away, so we need to put the battery on. So we'll put the battery in. <coughs> Got a big spot for the battery, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's got a landing light, which is going to be interesting in the dark to see what that's like. I have seen it in a few videos. Um, again, if you want to see it, I'll make a video about it because I love learning, but I like to show other people what I'm doing. Yeah. Or oh, short. Sure. Shorts. Yeah, you like short. Yeah. You, this, this little man likes doing shorts. So. Yeah, you get a lot of views on them, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So I have started doing shorts as well. So, right. Go check them out. Yeah, they're on my channel as well. Um, on Instagram, I, I put them on there. And TikTok. TikTok. You got me into TikTok. That's my thing, actually. Yeah. Not really right. We lose quite a lot of time on TikTok. Right, we'll plug it in. Right, do you want to turn it on? Why turn it on? You know, no, same as the other one. You, you push it in, and then you keep, keep the finger on it. So, hold the button there. Which one, that one? This button here. Take your finger off, quick back on. Quick there. Quick there. Right, let me show you. So you press it and then keep your finger on. Oh. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, we both got it wrong that time. <laughs> right. There we go. There we go, we both heard it, something new. <laughs> That never gets boring. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like a show. <laughs> yeah. It's like um, MD lights. Before you do anything, make sure everything's on properly. You take your gimbal protection off. Yeah. That's really important. Yeah, that's um, really different compared to that one. Huh? It is. Uh, we'll get the other one out and we'll compare them. Um, I've changed the colours and the settings and the goggles, so now we've got blue. Um, yeah, the goggles is like a VR, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like them. Yeah. And we've got blue on the, on the arms, red. On these bits here, and these are like a uh, status light. Uh, on the Mini 2, it's on the back as well, and it just tells you what it's doing, but with colours instead of actually displaying on the display, the phone or whichever. Um, by all means, you know, when you goggles, it will tell you in the goggles. Um, you have to make sure your remote's switched on, but obviously, we're indoors, I haven't got the propellers on, the, go the goggles are switched off, and also the remote's switched off, so there's no way of this thing up going off accidentally and harming us in any way. Um, we'll turn this off and then we'll do a comparison with the gimbals and then the cameras. We can do that as well? Yeah. So that's that switched off. Always remember to unplug it at the back because you just never know. So we're going to turn the battery out. Okay. And then we'll do a gimbal comparison. So as you can see, they're roughly that's roughly what half yeah. the size of what that one is. That one's got a circle in it, Yeah, so yeah. obviously don't touch the lens. Yeah. Careful of the lens. So I believe it's the same gimbal technology that's in both. And they're both so, 4K. Uh, yeah, they're both 4K, and record at 60 frames a second. Uh, so yeah, um, so that's one. I've not got it plugged in, obviously, I've put the battery out so yeah. uh, This also has got a battery out of it as well, so I've got battery in it. Uh, as you can see, uh, comparison, the lens is quite bigger than that one. But obviously this thing is designed for different things than what this one's designed for. Yeah. This one's for like racing and stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, FPV is... Primarily, primarily, primarily for racing, however I just enjoy flying around different things, yeah. it's, it's great. Um, we'll put these on. Good 
studied how like, the technology in these days is like. Yeah. 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 Right, hope you enjoyed the film, the video, whatever you want to call it. Okay, car, like and subscribe, by all means. What can I say? Um, <laughs> now we're going to go fly them, so if you stay on, you're going to see what we'll get up to outside. <laughs>